What's cracking, y'all? It's Nipsey Hussle. You already know I'm rocking with my homeboy, Twin City Tone. Yo! Well, let's get this started. Let's get this started. What are you going to talk about? I'm talking about sampling records. Now they say about the crazy ones. The most. Hip-hop means everything to me. Hip. It's, it's my culture. Huh. Crazy, man. You're, you're now rocking with the Twin City Tone podcast. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! The bass. You know. I'm the king of my city. The Twin City Tone podcast. <laughs> All right, here we are together again on the Twin City Tone Podcast, the world's most dangerous podcast. Episode number 91. Yeah. Uh, this is crazy. I don't really know what to say right now because both of my co-hosts were actually free tonight. Somebody's usually busy, and I only get one of the two, but they're both in the building tonight. We're in hey. the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, make sure to follow me on all social media, at Twin City Tone. Uh, Lisa, where can they follow you? At It's Lisa Moy. M-O-Y. Yes. You Wiz. can follow me at Big Wiz 612. That's right. And however you consume your podcast, make sure to subscribe. Leave us a nice five-star review. And uh, tonight's sponsor is none other than Surf's Up Digital. If you're trying to take your Instagram to the next level and gain real organic followers, hit up surfsupdigital.com. Catch a wave with the Instagram experts at surfsupdigital.com. All right, special guest in the building tonight, and uh, we've had repeat guests before. We have yes, had we have. Okay, that's not okay. a new thing, but a new thing is coming back only a few episodes later because you dropped another new oh. project. Okay, so uh, this guy was on episode eighty-seven. He's now back for episode ninety-one. Round of applause for Ooh. the one and only Jake Giller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, that's Jake Giller. That's G I L L E R. That's Shout right. out the Twin City Tone podcast. We got Lisa Moy and we got Big Wiz in here. Yeah, Let's we turn this definitely up, got I feel good. Big Wiz in here. We yeah. definitely got Lisa Moy in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's a battle. It's a hey, battle. What's, your, what's your IG? Oh yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at it's Jake Giller. My uh, my Twitter is Jake Giller you at Music. The moment, so. And uh, yeah, just go on Facebook, Jake Giller Music. You'll find me everywhere. You there look good is. too, Lisa. Shout out Eric from waiting. Waterwave TV in the building. <laughs> Yo, is the lighting okay? Should we turn the lights up? Are you good? That's yeah, the best I'm manager. You good? Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So, oh, so Jay, I had to bring you back on, man, because um. Also, before I before I get into this, if you want to hear Jake's life story and how he got into music and all that, reference episode eighty seven. You can hear about everything, how he got into music, all of that. Okay. But today we're here to talk about the new project that's about to come out. What's the name of it? Uh, sincerely yours. Okay, sincerely yep. yours. Four songs. Yep. Nice and short. Mm-hmm. EP, yep. All right. Um, these are new songs, or these are songs that yeah, didn't nah, make summer season. These are all new songs. Like, all uh, new songs. Yeah, all new songs. Are you yep. working, working? Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's working, working. Are you mm-hmm. working, working? Yeah, huh? yeah, man. Okay, okay. I'm hungry, bro. Yeah, you feel I me? love yeah. it. I love it too. That's why you're back up here now. Yes, sir. Word on the street is this EP contains one of the greatest songs you've ever recorded, if not the greatest song you've ever recorded. Is this true? Is this rumor correct? Um, to me, I mean, to myself, yeah. I'm not the one that, like, stated that rumor at right. first. You know, it was my boy uh, Jake at the Wiseman show. He hit me up. And Shout he's, out to Wiseman. He was like, Pick yo, the like, he sent me a video of him saying it. He's like, I want you to know, like, hands down, I don't even think you realize how special the hook is on the song. Wow. Let alone just, like, how good the song is. Like, content-wise, this might be your hands down your best song. And he said he, hate, he, said he hated to say it so early, but... So just the way he felt on the track. Yeah. And the name of that song is? Uh, that's Myself. That's track number three. On okay. It. Myself. Yep. Myself. Myself. Talk about that track. Yeah, talk about that. Tell us uh, about that. I mean, it's a lot, man. It's just really me talking about who I am as an artist and I just go into talking about those times where, like, I feel like I can do it by myself, but at the end of the day, you, you can only go so far alone. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yep. You go farther when you're together. Mm-hmm. And one thing that I represent strongly when it comes to my music is my brothers and the brotherhood I have with those people. Yep. Like the people I keep in my circle are the ones that keep me motivated. Like I don't really hang out with too many people just because if the energy's off, that's going to distract me from what the bigger picture is. I don't like so humans the, either, Jake. Yeah. So like <laughs> the people I keep in my circle are the ones that keep me going. And they're my brothers and I just talk about how I can't do it without them. Yes. And then, I love uh, it. I know there's there's just a lot, man. Like I could probably talk to you guys, make a whole episode about how much content I rapped about on that one. Yeah, 
Yeah. It's special to you. Yeah, it's very special. I to can me. tell. Just the way I'm you just, like the way you're talking right now, how your face is like lighting up. It's it's special. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. I mean, I like I'm it. excited for you guys to hear it, man. Yeah. You were so excited you wanted to play it off of your phone before we started. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cause you I, sent I, me the, <laughs> the advanced copy last night. I didn't get a chance to check it out and you were about to play it for me, but Damn, I said, Jake, got the no, advanced copy, huh? I don't want to hear it on for the phone. Real? Oh, hey, I'm, I'm dropping you guys' phone after this. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to check it out, too. Not what, what you said about content is important. I was just telling them before we started the podcast off the air that I recently started recording again, and I was low-key yeah. retired. I didn't yeah. make I didn't make an announcement I was retired or nothing like that, but I was telling them I lived life. Like, I caught a case. I was in jail. I went through some shit in yeah. the last couple of years. That's content. Now yeah. I have shit to write about again. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and that's like one thing I said too is uh um one of the, like the thing I said back to Jake when we had a conversation I said um I rap based off like experiences not rather rather not fantasies. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Thing, like flexing. And you're that's going to resonate with yeah. your fans better when you're mm-hmm. just yourself and yes. not talking about other people's shit when you're talking about you. Music I always say I hate it how people would rep Minneapolis but be from YZ or be from Apple Valley like dude rep Apple Valley there's right. nothing wrong yeah. with you growing up in Apple Valley right. there's nothing wrong with that yeah. right. oh, like yeah, my son sure. reps Bloomington and he's gone yeah, yeah. yeah. in uh, my intro track Sincerely Yours I uh, I talk about Simley High School where I graduated yes, from yeah that's so in 2015 so yeah that's yeah. dope that's what Deja like graduated it. from oh, shout, shout out Deja, Deja. yeah Deja she also got bars if no one else knows yeah, shout out Deja she got bars shut up and rap current shut up and rap champion and she won like did she win like $500 too the other Yo, night at, at an open mic she did she she's going that crazy. bag too that she getting queen. at that bag she's she yeah. going crazy she's doing mm-hmm. it she's and low key the last Wednesday we did you brought her up as a special uh, guest yep yeah, I did and no disrespect to the other artists that were on that bill but she kind of came and she, she killed it. And stole the she kind of came and stole the way. show, bro. I, I hate to say that, but <laughs> they asked for an encore. She yeah. is notorious yeah. for she that. And up. she had all the hood homies, all my hood homies from uh, Lake Boys. Shout out to the Lake Boys, Merck and Vicious. They had their phones out recording the she set. It. And, yeah, it was crazy. Her, she, yeah, she's notorious for that. I remember "Shut Up and Rap." She was a wild card. Yeah, right when on that uh, that money beat, I think it was. Yeah. It was a Cardi B beat. It was, it was Migos. Yeah, it was Amigos. Narcos. Yeah, Narcos. That's what it was. Hey, she just had Pop Snow. The <laughs> apple don't fall <laughs> to fall from the tree. Pop hey. Snow. And she's Pop's got bars, so you know yeah, I bet she, 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 she caught. A she might have caught a little bit happen. of that, you know, growing up. <laughs> I don't know if she's ready for that. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but we'll get back to Jake. We'll get Let's back, back to Jake. Young Jake Giller, man. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so I I'm really excited to hear this track. I really am, cause like. Bro, the excitement I'm feeling for you to like you guys yeah, to hear this yeah, like yeah. it's it's unexplainable. Jake, how old are you again? Twenty two. Oh man, wow. you how long did it take you game? to make this? Yeah, song? like this this one specifically myself. Yeah. Uh huh. Probably like an hour, honestly. An hour, okay. But yeah, I was just some, sometimes there's times where like it takes me a couple of days to do a song, or I'm yeah. just in the studio and I just catch it from the jump. And this one was different. Usually I write my hooks out first, mm-hmm. but I wrote my verse, my two verses first. Oh wow. Played the the chorus in between, and then I just like caught it, laid it out. Dope. Turned out pretty you damn said, good. Uh, you just recorded this song last week, right? Mm-hmm. So all this is like fresh yep. off the press. No, like you just putting this stuff out. Like yeah. You just recorded it. And yeah, and the thing is, like, it was recorded in an open room, in a living room. I didn't, like, go to any of the studios I recorded Summer Season with, but, like, yeah. you'll get to hear, like, the my engineering side of it just from doing it in a stand-up mic in an open room and how yeah. I can make it sound with it. That's dope, man. So, like, what, I mean, what inspired you? Because, like I said, you just dropped Summer Season. Like, just dropped it. Yep. And you're just like, yo, I need to... Because when when I first saw you were putting out an EP, I was like, oh, these are probably joints that didn't make mm-hmm. summer season. Yep. But you're like, nah, this is all new stuff. You just... You were just feeling it? Like... Man, it just... So, like, the run I had with summer season, like, I enjoyed that. I've never had a run like that. That, like, that, that was the... In my career so far, like, the best turnout for a release I've ever had so far. Yeah. So it just left this me kid's like the 22 day. twenty two things in my career so far too. Like, I love it. The yeah. uh, <laughs> the day I dropped it, actually, I was right back in the studio already working. But nice. I was just chilling at uh, at Eric's at the Water Wave crib, and um, like I told you before, like my homie Quentin's always been an inspiration to me, and yep. I was like hella inspired. Yep. And like, I know he'd be don't stop, keep your foot on the pedal. Yeah. So like I was just thinking, I was like, man, it's, it's time to just keep my foot on the next, and I just I'm trying to put out some more music. I wanna. More so, I want to inspire the people around me, too. Like, the Water Wave guys, like, hey, like, if I'm dropping this, like, let's all be pushing each other. I want another project from you. 
next month. I I want you to feel the pressure, but in the most positive way possible. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I'm here to motivate you and just make this go as a whole, rather than just Jake Giller. Right yeah. now, yeah, it's just Jake Giller. It's just a solo EP. But I want that to motivate my brothers around me and my team. Yes. So one thing I wanted to talk about that you mentioned earlier, you said almost like the strength in numbers, right? Like you can do it alone, but it's better to move as oh, yeah. a unit. Mm-hmm. But I want to add an asterisk to that. But it's got to be the right people because the wrong yeah. people will slow you down. Oh, that's yeah. True. Facts. You know I mean, I mean so, with that being said, too, man, like that's the part you couldn't have said it any better. I've gone through multiple groups in my career so far. When I first started rapping at the age of 17, I had a little, I had a crew that went by Grove Music in my hometown, Invergrove Heights. Yep. Things were cool, but we ended up just falling apart. Long story short, only like three of us kept doing the music. Then I was with a group uh, called Commonly Mistaken. It was like a correlation of like eight other guys. Okay. That's when I went to Mankato. Mm-hmm. That kind of just fell through. And then I was just a solo artist with my brother, Trey Jones. I was working with Trey Jones, Dante, or he goes by Tay, Trey Mua, and Melly Mike. And, like, we still work together to this day. Like, they just live in Mankato now, to me living in the city, so it's not as, as easy as it would be to just have them come over and record. Yeah. But uh, then uh, Eric hit me up. He's like, yo, I want to manage you. I want to I wanna represent you on this water wave thing. What? And I think I was water one of the first artists wave. you signed. Mm-hmm. I think so, if I'm correct. And, uh... Ever since then, bro, like, that's just been the right people around me. That's what's kept me the most motivated. Like, I can I can link with this man. Like, the day we shot the cover art, yo, let's let's get this cover art done today. Let's go take some pictures. Yeah. Bam, we did it. That that night, we had the cover art done. I'll, yeah. I'll hit him up, and I'll be like, yo, let's make some promo for this Sincerely Yours. Mm-hmm. We shoot some footage, or we just get some footage shot. Bam, he's on it. Like, that's the kind of energy I like to be around. Like, mm-hmm. I'm a go, go, go. Let's get it, get it, get it kind of person. Yep. Yeah, go get it. Yeah, saying, I huh? just, I really just don't, I, I, I really don't feed off of the, uh, the taking too much time, because like you can take too much time, but then you get sucked in that. Definitely, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm trying to get it. I know a lot of people that hold that. on to records. Yeah, and for, then they just, they just what? lose. I'm guilty of that. I am too. But you, you it's, but when you say you dates, but when you say dates and you know. talk about current events that are going on at that time, sometimes it's not good to hold on. Yeah, to. it's not. Just put it out. Yep. For sure. Up the Twins just won in the bottom of the 12th. Hey. hey. Beat the White Sox. Yes. Yeah, ah. Perfect segue, <laughs> though, because I was going to talk about the uh, the artwork. So whose idea was it? We kind of just thought of it randomly. Initially, the idea or the cover art was going to be me. The The original idea I had was I was going to go to uh, some place where I can get one of those chairs that people lay back in when they're talking to a therapist. Yeah. I was going to get a picture of me taking on that. And then it kind of turned into Eric saying, yo, well, there's like these, like, whatever, whatever those long chairs you sit in by a pool. I forgot what they're called. But uh, they were, there were those, like, at his apartment. We walk out to the area where that was, and then they had, like, a big Scrabble board. Yeah. And I was like, we were just like, yo, what if we, like, spelled sincerely yours out, but then, like, s- spread it out so it's, like, uneven. And then we, like, took some pictures of just that, and then Eric was like, nah, you should get in it. Yeah. Bam, we took that. And then it just was us chilling in his house while we were making it. Like, yo, like, give me, send me some pictures of you at shows or with people that are important to you. Yeah, it's dope. And then put put that all together, connected all the dots, and then that's what we came out with. I love it, and I love Scrabble. Oh yeah, great game. <laughs> where, where did you find she the big Scrabble, Scrabble board? Scrabble uh, the quads on Delaware. They got this like really like in the middle of the oh, apartments. Really? They got like a big chess board, oh, a big checkerboard, oh, oh, and then a big right. Scrabble board. Yeah. That's dope. I feel away. I don't know if you saw that. We, we, yeah. we made a cameo on the hey. on the cover. I we know just, here. You and I were in the top. Well, you didn't show up that night. So. Let me see that again. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you never know what top. you're going to miss when you don't show up to the Twin City Tone podcast, Lisa. It's cute or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Jeez, wow. <laughs> Shout out Lisa Moy. Damn, that's hard. It yeah. is nice, though. Now it's even it's better nice. than before. <laughs> <laughs> Got that extra sauce on it. That's dope. Respect. That's dope. Salute that's to dope. you for that, bro. Appreciate you, bro. That's very I like dope, it man. a lot. That's very dope. So, so why only four songs? Um, well, summer season was already eight. Yep. And I'm not knocking it. I'm actually no, yeah, a fan for sure. of the short yeah. format. Um, but. The thing that I've been like learning as time goes on is nowadays like the average listener, they don't have the attention span that they had back mm-hmm. then where it's like you can listen to a four minute song, you know what right. I'm saying? That's yeah. facts. And um he gets, he gets it. With that being said, I just I like I tell my boy self impressed right there, like when he's writing music, I'm like, bro, get a catchy hook. 
Don't you don't need to write twenty four bars. You can write the hottest sixteen. You can write the hottest twelve. We've been doing twelve. As long as it I'm, makes sense, and as long as that, as long as that shit hits, <laughs> that's all that matters. And um, the four songs is because I just dropped summer season, and that's eight. Yeah. Then I did the deluxe vis- version with three extra songs, so yeah. eleven. You working out here? And then um, yeah. I was just like, you know what, four is a good number, and I've never dropped a solo project, mm-hmm. so why not give them four, short songs, but two hooks, three hooks on some with two verses each. And um, yeah, basically getting into that, that the reason with that being said is because now I want to leave people hungry because this is my, with the title Sincerely Yours, yep. it's not a goodbye, it's an I'll see you later in a sense. This is going right. to be my last project I release until my first studio produced album the end of next year. And okay. with like with that being said, I'll probably drop maybe one to three singles throughout the year, mm-hmm. but I got three, three and a half projects with the summer season deluxe that I could just push for a year. I can get video content for for sure. Just just push that while building the hype for my first time. I like that you said that because I was just in the studio with a lot of prominent artists and we were all like, man, why do people feel like they got to rush the album and, and now they're done? Like, you can film videos still yep. throughout mm-hmm. the year. Like, I remember when an album lasted a year, a calendar year. You yep. remember that. I know it's not that time now, right. but you can still go back and put out videos that from that project after dropping yep. a project. You know, like you drop one project, you drop a second one, you can still go back to that first project and release video content mm-hmm. from it and then just reintroduce people to it. Especially if it's one of your, like, most popular songs on totally. that. You don't have a video for that. Your true fans, like, your day one fans are going to, yep. oh, whoa, he just dropped a visual to that? Yep. And Definitely. they're subscribed to you on YouTube, they're going to get that notification. Mm-hmm. See that, bam, that's the that song? Oh, let me peep in. Let me check this. Right. Like it hot all over again. Yeah. And the thing about this is there is no rules, like, I could go back and drop a video from an album seven years ago. I mean, it's not gonna probably Good. get the Lizzo the same. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. a yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that. Like I was reading up on like Baby Bash and how he that Sugar's song yep was seven years old. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. He released it and now look at him and he it's was the biggest song ever. Yeah, yeah, and then he re-released that joint and then got banned. So many people. Sit on records. That's sometimes it's a good thing yep. to sit on records. And the cool thing about like Baby Bash, like that example, is like. That's a song that uh, Sugar Sugar. I feel like that's a song that was ahead of its time. Yeah. Kids nowadays that are like right. thirteen probably right. know that song. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, I don't know. Like, it's just one of those songs that will like forever be there. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of music these days. But like, it was one of that. That's how special that song was. I want to ask you, rewind real quick. So you said you're you're gonna drop this. Mm-hmm. Okay, but this isn't your first solo. When you say no, this solo is my first project. solo project ever. I've well, never, ever, ever. Summer season was a solo project. I had some features on it though. So you, but it's yeah. still oh, a solo okay. project. I mean, in a sense, yeah. But you're saying this is your first project no without features. any Just no features, nobody. nothing. Yeah, just you. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. okay. So you're cool. gonna drop this, and then you said you're gonna do a studio album at the yep. end of 2020. Mm-hmm. So and what, uh, some of the uh, songs are gonna be recorded actually next or, uh, in October. We're going to Houston, Texas. Next October. I'm opening October, for an, October 2019 or 20. October 2019. I'm opening for an artist that goes by Ominous the Monster. Dope. Yep. And uh, we're gonna go out there, get in the I, studio. Why have I heard that name? Okay. I like that name. I is he heard, on or is he underground? Like what, what would you say? It's his brother. What would you say? I've heard that name for some reason. You gotta say your brother on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, He's from Texas. Yeah. He on. Okay. What were, you, what were you saying though, Tom? I, I was saying, okay, so you, you're gonna drop the album at the end of 2020. Yeah, probably so like around a, like a year from now. So a year from now. So what are we doing, January until the album comes out? Mm. You uh, said you're gonna put out two or three songs. Yep, I'm gonna spread it out equally. This is a bad idea. You don't. You think so? Very bad idea. Okay. You, well, you have your, a buzz. You don't want to lose yeah, your momentum, you're bro. Lose your momentum. Okay. You you can't do that. You I need I hit me need with some game. Least, Let me hear something. Let me hear at something. least. At least the very minimum, a song one a month. song a month. Yep. One song a month? I Twelve songs. We could do that. I would prefer a video every month. I think we could do that too, honestly. Yeah. I mean, you got the, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want them to forget. <laughs> that's like le- that's like leaving food out to get cold. Well, yeah, yeah. You and want you're cooking right now, and you mm-hmm. want to keep people enthused and in tune with what you're doing. Yes. And it's okay not to drop projects, like yep. you said. That's fine. Yep. But you got to do something. So your social media is up daily, or you know, monthly, yep. daily. Yeah. Still, social media. You got to keep yeah. your social media people on. Have but music, to. they're gonna be thirsty for more. You can't let them thirst that long. They'll go to the next artist. They will. Yep. Yeah, it's you like don't. we just talked about. You said attention span, right? Like mm-hmm. you don't need. They were like, oh, Jake, you're right. dropping. 16. Yeah, same yeah, thing. Right. Like we out. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> mm-hmm. Out of yeah. sight, out of mind. And, um, you have to stay in their face. Mm-hmm. You right. have to just like staying there consistently. Yes. And like something else, I want to do too. Is um one shoot more videos like we were discussing. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I want to get tapped in with. I want to learn how to make better TikToks with my music because that's sure. a very popular, yeah, that's uh, popular. A very popular market. So if I can hit that market right, that's just another outlet. That's another way to get my music yeah, out there. There's nothing right. wrong with with just building onto the brand. Yep, mm -hmm. if it makes sense. And um, but I agree with you, Tone. That three songs in a year. That's not gonna. Cut I, it. I appreciate that. Gear, You're killing honestly. shit right now. Don't yeah. let up on the gas. No, like you got the most. Don't say, oh, I'm right overdoing now. it now. I'm I'm oversaturating. You're not. You gave just him eight songs going. and four songs. Maybe wait to. You let them soak this album yep. up and then, boom, hit them with a single right around next month or whatever. Okay. But, yeah, don't give up like that. Mm -hmm. All right, bet, bet. That's I'm, not giving up, but you know, get what I'm saying. Like, yeah, just let plan don't it out relax. better. Yeah, yeah, don't relax. Like that. Next. Yeah, I Your mean, work I'm, ethic's crazy. You can knock a song out a month. No problem. Oh, yeah, for you sure, just sure. recorded this fucking EP in, yep. what, a week Mo or two? Three weeks. Three weeks. There yep. you go. What I was going to say is, I'm going to use NFG Mayhem as an example. Yeah. I say he's the hardest working artist in the city. Shout out right to now. that young oh, yeah, boy. He's, he's a dog. He's only bro. been rapping like a year and a half. Are you serious? Yeah. Whoa. And he put I got him out on like, two songs 20, on the album. like 20 <laughs> videos in the past year. Something like videos? that. Sheesh. That's what I'm saying. And That's now look insane. where we. Yeah, but like yeah, he's, he's got shout out to him, man. Wow. So yeah. now he got on that pro Me and Text project, two songs. Yeah. That's dope. He's, he's nice. Hard. That so, flowy, yeah, bro. I've heard him at the, the Ill Studios. I've heard yeah, some of his he's stuff. Yeah, that joint. Yep. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to stay in the face. Mm -hmm. You know Let's what I mean? Get it. And even sometimes he'll be like, "Man, I think I'm dropping too much. I think I'm dropping too many videos." I'm like, "You already got me thing. plotting on no the next thing. move as I'm sitting here." No such thing. <laughs> no such thing. Stay in the God. face. You know what I mean? So yes. Don't so. let nobody get in that in the lane that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Don't give nobody room. Because motherfuckers Ever. will try to merge. They will. They will. Yep. They will. They'll say, They're "Oh, he did that. Let me do that." They ready yep. for you to be like doubting yourself. They're ready for you to take a break. See, that's no. that, that's what, that's what I've gone through before. No disrespect, I still got love for him. Like with old guys I used to work with, they'd be like, "Yo, like chill, bro. You don't need to be dropping so much music." Fuck that. It's like nah, bro. That's like why you got a that's how you fall off. You. Yeah, exactly. That's why I keep the right people around me. Exactly. Always. You know, gotcha. and for, for someone like you, that's on your come up, that's you know getting recognition in the city, building your brand, building your name. Mm -hmm. I think it's important you just keep going. Like OG artists like Atmosphere and Brother Ali and Muja, they can take a year off. Yep. Right. They still shouldn't, but they can because mm -hmm. they have built their brand for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And their brand, their core fan base now is, um, is, is their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Help me out here. Their brand is established. Yeah, it's yeah. established, but yeah. it's like almost like a cult following. That's the word I was looking yep. for. They have the atmosphere as a cult following, period. Yeah, that's and, nice. and that's just something you're building right now. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to stop while well, you got this momentum. Yeah. And also, I feel that, you got to keep in mind your why, right? Like yep. You mentioned your boy that passed, and you said, what did you just say at the beginning of this interview? You, know you know said I mean? he yeah. would say, Jay, keep your foot on the gas. He would say that, yes, right? Yes, he would. So, so don't why let would off, you no. take your foot off the gas? You're right. Don't do that, OG bro. game, man. You know, no, I appreciate it, man. Better like, soak real, this real. up. And if, <laughs> uh, yeah, and man, if man. I see you taking your foot off the gas, yeah, I'm gonna be like, I know he's, he's, like, he's gonna in the text, like Jake. <laughs> where's the music, man? You're right, bro. I'm, I'm gonna keep it up. And so. if you don't have people around you like now, that's not on you like that. Then you gotta, you know, reevaluate yourself. Oh, yeah. and you're yeah. getting this from two radio personalities at no radio, and then I'm underground. Legend I appreciate it here, a lot. You know what I'm, I'm soaking it all I'm in for real, for real. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Living legend up in here. That's yeah. That's one thing too that I just want to like say to like the listeners, like any like young artists, like take in that advice mm -hmm. that people give you. Like yeah, you can think like, no, nah, I'm gonna do this my way. It's gonna work. But like, <laughs> listen to the people that have gone through that situation, and the people that like know the roots and the ways to go. Right. Take that advice. Yeah. Don't don't dodge it. Of course, yeah. because it's mm -hmm. like, I, yo, man. It's cool to learn from your mistakes, but it's even cooler to learn from other people's mistakes. Because oh, yes. you can save yourself a lot of pain and a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You know yep. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, why, you would you, why would you listen. drive down that road if he, me, and her told you don't drive yeah. down that road? Exactly. We already went down that road. That's that. so, Big yeah. facts, man. Yep. You're soaking it up good, though. You're doing your thing out here, bro. I appreciate yeah. that. I like it. I got a question. Who pushes who harder? Water wave? <laughs> like, are you pushing water wave to like, come on, man, we need content. We got to do this. Or are you pushing Jake like, yo, man, we got to get in the studio. Like, who's pushing who? Um, I think we got, we might have a little debate, but I feel like when it comes to like my content, mm -hmm. I push, I think we both, I think I push Eric the hardest. Yeah. Because I'm just, yo, we should do this. We should mm -hmm. do this idea. There's sometimes ideas that I'll come up with and he's like, nah, like we should do it this way. Or like, he'll come up with something and I'm like, what if we did it this way? But, like, we're just always, always plotting. Like, yeah. I'm at this dude's house every day. Yo, Eric, yeah. I'm coming over. 
setting my studio up because I don't have a studio set up right now. I just got my 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 monitors and my my mic over there right now. Okay. But um, yeah, bro, we're always just pushing each other. But I love that. When it uh just comes to the water wave thing, Eric pushes himself harder than anybody I've met when it comes to that brand himself. Like yes. that's his child, mm-hmm. and he he's blossoming it the right way. Yeah. And like like I said in the last podcast, there's nobody else I'd rather have manage me than somebody than somebody with a head on his, their shoulders like him. Right. Because he he's motivated. That's dope. Very. Very. Aww. Yo, you are who you hang around. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, you're yes. some of the five people you spend the most time with. I yes. promise you that. Energy is very attractive. Like, whatever energy it is, that's is, you're going to attract that same energy. Yo, I gave this example. I was talking to these kids a few weeks ago. Shout out to Eric. He was over there. I went to this uh, middle school, and I was talking to the kids. And, like, I was looking around the room to, like, try to, like, get my message across. So I grabbed this water bottle. Yep. And I was like, yo, what temperature is this water bottle? And the kids are like, they touch it, like, oh, it's room temperature. I was like, exactly. I was like, if we take this water bottle and put it out in the hot sun for a few hours, what's going to happen? Oh, it's going to heat up. Yeah, and if we take it and put it in the freezer, then what's going to happen? It's going to get cold. I said, yo, each one of you guys is like a water bottle. I said, we all are. I said, we adapt to our environment. You see what I mean? Yep. So it's like if you hang around with negative people who aren't doing anything, you're going to be more negative and not be motivated to do anything. Mm -hmm. If you get around people who are go-getters, winners, really trying to accomplish something out here, Mm -hmm. they're going to push you and motivate you to be your best self. Mm -hmm. So it's always important to stay around those type of people. Anybody's either an asset or a liability. Yep. So take take stock of who's what and get rid of the liabilities and Mm -hmm. keep the assets. I think, I think you got a good head on your shoulders, though. No, like he does. This, he yeah, does. Yeah, from what you've been saying, like, I think, you, I think you're think you young, but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't yeah. mean anything. I think you got it. I think you got it. I appreciate that. I think that. you are, you know, you're aware of your surroundings. So that's that's going to get you far, too. So I like it. Like it. What's yeah. your sign? What's your zodiac sign? Oh, Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she asked me <laughs> the same thing. Evaluate him. We're going to be here for know. another 45 minutes. No, no, no. I just wanted to know. Leo I'm, in the I'm building. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> You know, it's oh, le- it's about to be Libra season. It's not Libra season yet, it's though. About to, so, man, it's, it's still, still my season. It's still Leo season. It's, it's <laughs> not. It's Virgo season. When, it's so when funny. does it end? It's, it's, it's his season first, and it's my season, and it's your season. That's cute. You like that? Aww, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just know gotta that love that's it. cute. Oh, Lord. I love yeah. it. <laughs> By the way, the Twin City Tone birthday bash is happening October 25th. Yes. Union rooftop. Oh, yeah. Be there or be square. I think it's 21 fun. plus, but we're going to find a way to get Eric in there. My brother's the district manager yeah. and cook there. Oh, so we're in there. Oh, you in there. Media pass. Yeah. <laughs> He's good. He's good. Yeah. It's lit. We'll be good. We'll I be love good. it. I love it. Yeah. So, yo, Jake, uh, any jewels you want to leave the listeners before we uh, wrap this episode 91 up? Yeah. Uh, one, uh, love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Self-love is very important because... I have friends, I have family, and I've even been at the point where, like, I was at my lowest, I was depressed, didn't think I was going to do this music no more, I wasn't doing music, uh, I didn't want to do anything, I was unmotivated, but at the end of the day, I, uh, I got myself out of it just by this, every morning I wake up, I wake up and I tell myself, uh, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm a rapper, I'm Jake Giller, I'm going to be successful, I just name, like, five to ten of my goals every morning I wake up and I look in the mirror, and, like, me doing that, really just tapped into my mental to pull myself out of that position. Yep. And it's like, I, I learned to love myself again, and that's why I've been on this run with this music, just because I finally got myself out of that hole. And, um, yeah, like, self-love is the most important thing in this world. You can't you can't love somebody else unless you love yourself first. Amen. Mm-hmm. Whether it's family, a relationship, a friend, yep. you're going to, you just got to spread love, man, not yes. hate. And uh, to my dream chasers, keep working. Yes. Don't yes. stop. Shout out to Jake. I love it. It can so happen. It, man. I just um, had to make sure I wasn't wearing the same shirt last time going. we took a picture. I, 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 <laughs> I know. I almost wore the black crew neck, but I didn't. But yeah, um, shout out to my brother, Twin City Tone, Big Bro, and Big Wiz, and Lisa yes, Moy. My guy. My love for you guys so who, much, man. Who, who taught you that morning routine? About uh, your goals my boy, that? Andrew Whalen. He's, he cuts my hair, too. He has got a, He goes by Ways Way, W-E-W-H-E-Y-S Way on Instagram. Word. He'll do house calls, all that. Smart dude. Um, we also just did a fundraiser at South St. Paul's High School where he did free haircuts for a bunch of kids and That's dope. Did I love a little hip hop performance. You got so, a uh, good team. shout out to my man. He's <laughs> the one that uh, tapped that into my mental. That's when you I started write your doing. Your goals it. down too. You just yep. I got that. a. So I don't have it with me, but at my old house in Mankato, I got a piece of paper I had nailed on my wall. Mm-hmm. Had like that. ten goals on it. Mm-hmm. Just ten different life goals, music goals that I just would look at every morning. Perfect. Write it down, make it mm-hmm. plain. Make sure you keep it. And then, yeah. even when I did this sincerely yours project, I grabbed his whiteboard, wrote down the project, 
the four I the four or five ideas I wanted the project to be slash mean. Yep. And then I just wrote down the songs, column for the mix, column for the master, column for the final cuts, just so then I could go by a schedule. I want that's the first time I've ever done that and that the smoothest project smoothest way I've ever came out with the project by doing it that way. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah. Well, make sure you write your 2020 goals down. Oh, I'm about to. I have a feeling 2020 is going to be even better than 2019. Man, I, I'm shooting for Soundset, bro. I'm about to release or yes. send in my uh, application for it. Let's go. Long resume for Let's it. keep so working, excited. man. We'll see you there. Keep working. Let's get it. <laughs> God's plan. All right. Yo, where can they follow you one more time? Uh, on Instagram, it's it's Jake Giller, G-I-L-L-E-R. Twitter, it's Jake Giller Music. And like Facebook, Google, YouTube, you can just type in Jake Giller. And my vlogs, my videos, anything music related to me will pop up. All right, there it is. Shout out my co-hosts, Big Wiz and yeah. Lisa Moy. Yeah. Big shout out to our sponsor, yeah. SurfsUpDigital.com. Yeah, yeah. Episode 91 in the books. We're out. Peace. 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 Twin City Tone Podcast.